What's going on everybody, Painblade back here again from Server 1 representing ISC and guys I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that showed up for yesterday's big collab. Thank you to Shiny, thank you to the panel, thank you to everybody who watched. I apologize guys for the initial uh, first half that got removed by the YouTube um, guidelines. Uh, it wasn't a copyright issue, I can tell you guys that after reviewing it, it was just a bunch of haters. We just have nothing better to do, unfortunately, just decided to ruin a couple people's nights uh, and that decided to spam and, and get the video removed, but it's okay. I've got an appeal. I've got screenshots to show that it was that. Uh, so YouTube is going to review it and probably get it back up and everyone can go ahead and watch it afterwards. It was a fantastic night. We had great conversations. We had awesome laughs uh, and we had really good guests. So thank you again to everybody that showed up. Uh, and now we're on to the next experience. Back to painful experience again. And today, guys, we're going to be doing Tower of Eternity. So now you can see here I am level 51. I finally reached a double EXP cap and I'm moving on to uh, preparing for battle for floor 31. Now, I haven't gone any higher than this on purpose just to show you guys if it's possible and how high a, a, a free-to-play player can get here at level 51 my power is at 132 so i'm going to do a couple swaps here guys okay just so you guys are aware uh we're going to go ahead and do this real quick i'm just going to change my team up just a tad bit just to get some extra extra stuns in there and also um to boost up the team properly so let's see if akiba here naruto last naruto kagi is fine there um, so ideally, guys, what you want to do here normally is bring a couple healers with you, just because healers do make a pretty big impact um, on the uh, Tower of Abyss. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bring in Blossom for this one, just because I want that extra tribe gauge. Um, and I think that's a pretty decent setup there. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try, guys. Okay, so you see here I'm fighting Baruto. It's, there's only 42k power, but there's probably only three units. There they are. Let's see how far we can get here. Now, these units usually hit pretty damn hard. So I'm hoping to see... Uh, how far we can get with just my one team rather than going into multiple teams and I'm going to try to explain to you guys the best process of getting these guys down now um, Mitsuki will do uh, heavy wounds so he's pretty detrimental to healers uh, Sarada does burn and damage reduction rate on D units I don't think I have any D units on, for that reason alone and then Baruto of course is going to be the massive nuke here uh, but he's a single target nuke so I don't mind taking him out last just focusing on Mitsuki I think first would be the ideal situation I'm going to go ahead and start with Baruto and give myself attack up on my cell there we go so this should be fairly easy to take out um, should be fairly easy to take out uh, Mitsuki early on so let's see, I'm going to do this and get my full my full uh, energy team in there. And next next round we'll take Mitsuki off for sure, which is a bonus. Now Sarada, it, she's unfortunately, like the, the, the AoE is the problem here, right? Like I mentioned, it is it does suck to deal with Barto's nuking, but the AoE is really, really the issue. So let's take her out first, her out next, and then we'll deal with, yeah, there we go. She's going to kill two people here. Oh, maybe one, okay. Uh, and then we'll deal with, um with uh, Boruto last, so take out take out Sarada first. So here we're gonna go ahead and do this Jitsu first instead. And that way we can do Rin's uh, AoE and kill them all off and then move on to the next round. Now if you guys are stuck on this, just keep in mind like the best thing you can do for yourself in Tower of Eternity is build, build multiple units that can actually help you uh, be content because if you only have like a main nine team it's going to be really tough for you guys to advance. So make sure you're working on multiple units just to give yourself a variety of different things, right? You can get yourself um, AoE damage for things like this. And Rene, if you have him, is fantastic, guys. So definitely use him as much as you can. Uh, having a healer is massive, obviously, as well, too. There you go. Done that one. And then having having tanks is pretty crucial as well. So you got to make sure you have a variety of different things you can use. So I'm going to go ahead and remove Konkuro. And we'll put in... Put in Haku, keep Tobi in there for the stun, and he's got low HP. Uh, Kiba can be removed here. We'll put in Naruto first. Actually, I'll no, put Naruto Kage first for the attack up, and then we'll put Choji here for the tribe gauge. Uh, who else do we have here? That Actually, Naruto's got low health, so let's remove him as well too, guys. Let's put in Sai here. He does attack up for the cell, so that's pretty good. And then Mitsuki will keep out for now, and I think that's decent. I'll keep Tobi in just because he's got his special up. Now let's see how far we can get with this one. Now remember, like it doesn't doesn't hurt to die, like as long as you have again another team to back you up, right? So don't worry too much about the death part of it. Just make sure you can bring in a secondary team to kind of help you clean up, and that's kind of what you need to have. You, like even for the, the laboratory of the abyss, right? You need to make sure you have a secondary team to help you clear out anything that you haven't been able to do on your own. Okay, so I'm going to actually go ahead and use uh, my tribe here because I do want to have Naruto Rin Rene attack with his AoE. 
uh, I'd probably take out a few units just from doing that alone. And honestly, like in this in this case, like the healers are pretty tough. Like the healers are almost first in my in my priority list in Tower of Eternity because I don't hit quite as hard as I, as I do normally. So you want to make sure you take them out as soon as you can. So there you go, healer gone. And then if you kill off um, Harrison, just keep in mind he will definitely uh, cause. Um, actually, hmm. Yeah, he does do uh, he does do chakra down. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill actually Choji in this case. I don't want him to give the tribe gauge up. And he's got no health, so I don't mind him doing AOE here. Doesn't hurt that much to be honest. You can take a few hits from that. And then I'm gonna go kill Sa uh, let's kill Sai here. Next. And I've got uh, yeah, let's try to kill Sai off here with Baruto and Ten Ten. And then the next round we're gonna go ahead and do um, the energy team now keep in mind guys if you don't need if you don't want to use your chakra you don't need to use your chakra don't you can swipe up and actually uh, not have to use your special right you can save it for the next round so see there he did chakra down on everybody that's kind of the biggest issue with him but now that i have um uh so yeah, actually this won't work normally if shino was last this would be perfect because he'd do chakra chakra down on on sarada and she would she would actually not be able to do her special but because i'm going to hit her again she's going to get her special back that's the thing guys, you want to make sure that your chakra characters, like your chakra down characters specifically, are last in line to attack because they do um, they do remove chakra, but if anybody attacks after they do, they get the chakra back and their special will be reactivated. So it's, it's never worth having them in, th in the front of the line. Because this is random though, it's, it's just set up that way, but that's what you normally want to do. You want to save it for that. Okay, so let's keep going here. I'm leaving Naruto for last. Ideally, you would have left Harrison for last, but because he's AoE, um, and he just he just got really hurt by Naruto Rene. Uh, he was left left alive a little longer. Hope this kills him. There we go. Perfect. Moving on to the next floor. So I hope you guys are able to, to do as much of this clearing as you can. It is worth it, guys, because every single time you get coins, you get Shino coins, you get Ryo, you get Eternity Eternity coins, and you get other resources as well, right? So this is probably where it's gonna stop, um, most likely, just because my as you can see here, I'm pretty low on units that I can use with health. Uh, let's go put in Gara here. 10 10. Yeah, that's okay. Choji. This this whole team is pretty much shot. So we'll go Kakashi here. Hmm. I could try Mama Sakura as well. Haku's almost dead. So this is where you'd want to probably stop at this point, but we're going to just try it out anyways, guys. See how we do. Yeah, let's put her first. We do AoE stuns first. Alright, let's give this a go. And then after this, I'm going to try to go ahead and make you guys a, uh, a video on um, on FG and see how far we can get with that as well too. So, let's take a look and see how far we get here first. So, you know what? I might actually go ahead and start with my tribe here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it for Rene. Uh, let's get guard rate up. Let's do that first. Just so we have a little more protection. So Gara is great for that. Gara's skill 2 gives a guard rate up. There we go. Oh, Naruto's dead. So this is now becoming just a power power struggle, right? Because they've got way more power than I do at this point. So stuns are crucial here, guys. Heals are crucial. I don't really have a heal. Mama Sakura doesn't have her um, her, her trade up. So it's I'm not going to be healing quite a bit. Okay, so there's... Sakura, let's try to take a, as much as her as you can. Like I said, healers are pretty crucial on the opponent side, guys. Especially in Tower of Eternity. Abyss, not as much, but Tower of Eternity, they, they do quite a bit. And she does defense up, too, so it doesn't help the situation at all. Okay, so I've got one AoE coming up. Let's see, I'm going to save this for the next round. I'm going to go ahead and attack Sarada here, because she's going to go next. Let's see if we can take her take a few of these guys out after this. Bam, look at that. Look at that damage. I'm actually building him up for, for fun to use him, so I'm very interested to see how, how he does. All right, let's go ahead and do this here. Now, I'm using co-op with Rene because he does the most amount of damage, and I'd rather have the 1.5%, but because I didn't have all I didn't have all reds here, it only became 1.3%, so we'll use it, guys, when you want to do co-op, make sure that you have everyone on the same cell. It just does more damage, but in this case, I know I'll be able to kill her without worrying too much there. Perfect, there you go. So 1010 would have been perfect to have on that on that section right there. Okay, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use 1010 here to see if I can stun. 
And if I can... Nope, no stun. He'll probably end up killing somebody. Yep, 10 has gone. Okay, no problem. Now I've got an AoE right here. I've got a heal and I've got... Yeah, so the AoE is going to go first. I'm actually going to go ahead and kill off... Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and kill off uh, Sakura here. Just because I know the AoE is going to go off anyways. Let's kill her. This will be... Yeah, that'll go off, and then we have. Yeah, let's do. Uh, let's do this first. So the kill order is pretty straightforward here, guys. Healer first, and then I'm focusing on everybody else. Essentially, that can nuke anyone that's an AOE is prime target for this. Like you don't want to have the AOEs go off at all. So right now they're gonna go Naruto and Guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill Guy because he is going to be causing a lot more problems for me. Um, I'm just trying to think which way to go here. So I'll try Sarada, or sorry, uh, Mama Sakura first, just to see if I can get away with a stun and a kill. Okay, the kill was good, no stun. Though. Okay, so she, he's gonna kill somebody. Okay, figured it was her. And then right now, what you want to do is they're gonna have their tribe. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill um, hers in here because I don't want him getting uh, two AOEs off. So we're gonna go ahead and use use Naruto to kill him off. He's a T unit, so pretty straightforward. It'll be an easy kill here. I could have used Gara, but I'm trying to. I'm trying not to. Well, I'm just not taking any chances because type of type. There we go. He's gonna kill Gara here, anyways. Okay, so we got two units left, guys. Two versus two, essentially. So I've got a cleanup crew coming in after this, anyways. Not a big deal. So let's go ahead and do this first. Now uh, this skill two, unfortunately, won't work because it needs 50% of HP up or more. So that's that. Yeah, and I'm probably going to die here, so that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and just keep attacking her, and we'll come back in here and kill off Naruto right after this. There we go. And this is probably going to be it for the... Uh, this After this cleanup crew, this will be it, pretty much, essentially. Yeah, you know what? We can bring in whoever. It doesn't really matter at this point. And we're going to want to use our tribe just, just to finish it off quick. And that'll be the end of that. So we made what? Clear it. We cleared three floors right in one day. That's not bad. That's not bad. So it's going to keep getting harder and harder, guys. So you want to clear as much as you can, collect as much treasure as you can every single day, and just move on to the next floor and continue trying and attempting these. And again, keep building up your characters. Don't ignore skills and gear and stuff, right? That's all important. Scrolls and talismans are massive as well, too, for HP. So don't ignore things like that. It will make a difference for you, and you will continue growing and getting stronger. See here, that's, that's a massive power increase. So that's going to cause me to have to use at least two teams in the future but for now we are where we are and that's floor 37 all right guys i hope this video helped i'm gonna go ahead and while i'm doing the editing here i'll tell you which targets to attack first for new players and who to focus on um, outside of that i will be also focusing on maybe making an fg video i don't know if i've even done fg for this i might have i've kind of ignored it i think yeah see level one uh just been really busy obviously with the live collab and trying to put things together but this is a pretty straightforward one. I'll work on getting you a video for this as well too for free to play players and we can see how far we can get with it. Uh, I only have Hinata. I don't, I'm obviously not using URs. It's only an SR and R account. Uh, so we're not going to look at this. We're just going to look at getting Hinata frags. Um, yeah, so we'll focus on, you know what? Let's just do a couple right now. I'm ready here. Let's do it now. No harm in this. Get this done quick. At least the first three we can get done pretty quick. Start off Akiba here. Do a quick kill. The first level, guys, pretty straightforward. Anybody can beat it. It's it's just gonna we're gonna just rush through this part quick, and we'll get to the maybe fourth level and see how we do there. There we are. Yeah, and I mean this has been one of the uh, most interesting times of tries because normally we get the back and forth between Abyss and FG, and right now they're only giving us the FGs because of the single character. So I'm curious to see if next, it's maybe next week or the following week when we get the brand new banner coming out again. Uh, I think it's going to be a single banner again. I think it's going to be a pain. This is just guesses, guys. My my theory on it, and I'm I'm curious to see if it's another FG if they're going to switch over to using Abyss or something. So it's it's been an interesting time to be a tribes player because there's so much going on that's. Uh, making a change in the game, but also if, I don't know if it's for the good or for the bad I guess we'll have to wait and see how these single banners pan out The one thing I will say I don't like the fact that we can't get their lb2s until their banners are over That's kind of the biggest problem for me with the soul situation, but that's all right I mean 
it's part of the game and i'm i'm excited just to finally get these banners over with and go back to some some normality at least to have regular srs there as well too because with this account specifically because i'm not using urs those two units are useless for me right um so it would have been nice to have an sr to work on again that's a brand new one but right now all my focus is still going towards side guys so i also want to show you real quick i've now had this account for a week and a half uh, i'll show you after this one's done after i'm done fg that is where i'm with Sai in terms of getting him up um, I've put a, pretty much put all my Omni frags and all of my SR frags into him and anything else that I can. Uh, I think I've gone up to four stars as you guys saw, and I'm I don't know how close I am to five. I don't think anywhere near, but I'm trying to get him up as soon as possible to see how long it actually does take. If you're putting full focus on getting Sai up, I'm hoping it'll be a month and a bit, maybe a month, hopefully, uh, and we can just you know start using him ASAP. All right, so let's see. We're gonna go for focus on Naruto here. So this will be Naruto and Kakashi. I think I've already given you guys this this in my in my regular uh, my regular guide. Kakashi next. Mm, you know what? Let's do this. Let the other guys build up some chakra here. Take some of that chakra down. Arts is just getting a beating. All right, so they're gonna go ahead and do all three of them. I'm gonna focus on taking him out, just because he's the biggest threat here. There we go. Kakashi's almost dead. That's perfect. I'll do a little 10 10 action here and try to. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's kill him off with Naruto. F mm, yeah, let's do 10 10. Hopefully, get a stun here. No, but we killed off Kakashi. That's pretty important. Oh, Toby stunned. All good. All good. What do we got here? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try to kill off. Hmm. I thought it matters because I'll get the characters back the next round. We'll just do this instead. Because he's almost dead. I'd rather just take him out. I don't want to take a chance with Hinata. She might actually survive that attack. And I'd rather have a kill off. There we go. Toby's dead. This shouldn't kill anybody. And then we'll try to take out Hinata now. I'll go ahead and use... This and hopefully get my... She doesn't kill any of my energy cell. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's go to killing her now. I'm not going to bother with Choji. He's, he's not going to... Actually, you know what? I can't do this. Let's do this. Let's get, her, get his chakra down. That way he's not doing any attack. And then I'll move on to doing a co-op real quick. And finishing this off. And then you can see here's 1.3. Right? For the two of them and 1.2 for him. Uh, so remember, if you have all the right colors in, in terms of the cells, you get 1.5%. But if it's a split, you get a split. So keep that in mind, guys. There we go. I probably should have been doing this every day. But again, the, the live collab has kind of been taking up my time. Um, where are we now? I think we're on stage four. There we go. So this is where you kind of start. Uh, the third stage is where you start getting UR frags. Again, I don't really want these. I want these ones here. So I will go ahead and try four. Let's see how we do. And we'll, when we get to five, I, that'll probably be my stop for today, guys. And I'll try to do five and finish it off and, and show you guys that video as well, too. So I hope you guys are enjoying this painful experience. I'm actually getting a lot of people feedback saying this has probably been one of the better series that they enjoyed. So I'm really happy to hear that, guys. So I, ho I hope I can continue obviously providing you that content or this content in this, in this capacity where I'm actually having a great time doing this free-to-play stuff. Ooh, look at that damage difference. Wow. Okay, so this is probably where I, I will probably cap off. Because that damage difference was massive. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, let's kill off Kakashi first. See if I can actually... Uh, I mean, yeah, see, just seeing that that kind of defense and damage, it's it's kind of a little bit harder to, f to, f to kill. So yeah, I might need a little more power in my in my tank here to see how much I can do. But right now it looks like um, it looks like this might be a little bit over my head in terms of power, and that's normal, guys. This is the point of painful experience, right? It's to show you not only what you can do, but also your limitations, right? There's uh, there's obviously going to be limits into into what somebody can do as a, as a free to play player. So let's go ahead and do this.
Alright guys, so it looks like it's about to end here. Um, I don't think I'm going to have a chance at all surviving this. So let's take a quick look here and let's get it done. And this will be probably the last turn. So I guess like master, or oh, sorry, um, level 4 is where I'm going to get stuck at, at 130 some odd power, 150 power. So I'll try my best to see if I can do more later. And if I can, I'll definitely show you guys where I get at. But this is probably going to be the end of the team right about now. There we go. So see what percent we get at least, right? At least we can we can see that. Let's go ahead and hit. Um, at this point, I'm just gonna try to get as much as I can percentage-wise. Okay, perfect. Let's see if I can maybe kill off Yamato real quick. Nope. All right. Yeah, it's done. Well, there you go, guys. So that is the end of that. 42% on where are we at here. 42% on, I think it was stage four, right? Yeah, stage four. So there you go. I'll try to get more on that one. We'll try to build some more units up. But for now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and skip this, get that out of the way. And tomorrow we will work on getting this one completed. As you can see here, skipping this was probably smarter than getting 42% here. So for now on, uh, my goal will be to get this done by the time this event is over and hopefully move on to here and get that done as well. Alright guys, in the last bit of this video, I just actually wanted to show you guys where we are in terms of arena. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the event section and uh, look at the arena here. Now I did my matches today, I did 10, I'm starting to do 10 just to get it done. And I'm still ranking 4th as a free to play player. Uh, my record is still flawless in terms of who I'm playing and what I'm getting in terms of wins. Uh, so yeah, so like it's just showing here that a free to play player on a brand new server with whales and lower level can still compete. So let's just go back and take a quick look and see and again I, I want top top 10 I don't care about getting first second or third right because these are like level 63 55 52 so I mean they're they're good players here and the numbers are great the only difference is the power level is a lot higher like there's 167 there right versus mine which I think was like 150 at the time uh, so it's it's just getting top 10 that I care about and as I said I'm gonna show you guys where I am with Psy because that's my goal here is my goal is to get units that that are SRs that are really good up first uh, so Psy being the number one unit here to focus on, right? So I'm going to keep going like this. And I'm just pretty much tossing everything I have into him, guys. So there you go. So you know, we'll, we'll get to five stars eventually. And then six stars is going to be the longest time to take. But at the same time, I'm not I'm not in a rush to get it there. Uh, and also, as you can see here, I haven't unlocked any of this stuff either. So I've got a long way to go in terms of unlocking. The only, I think, I haven't even unlocked. Yeah, I've unlocked his LB1, not LB2. Uh, and I don't think I've even unlocked Barotos. Nope. See, I'm I'm what I'm off by. Oh, I'm off by a couple skills. So I mean, like I can get him up probably. Let's get him to 51, and then get this up. Push this a little bit, and then get this up. Now the reason why I'm actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for you guys soon. I'm gonna talk about uh, free to play units that you guys should be focusing on, um, and who you, who who is probably gonna be the best for you. Now the way the way I'm doing this for me personally is I'm focusing on not just PV, PVP because that to me is kind of irrelevant at this point. I'm focusing on units that are gonna thrive in PV, PVE specifically, right? PVP is good. It's great to have obviously those extra shards here and there, but for me the main thing is I want to make sure that all my PVE units are being leveled. So I'll go ahead and make a video for you guys just to talk about like which SRs you should be focusing on uh, for PVE content and what can help you finish content as well. Uh, so we'll be doing that shortly. Um, and then what what and I'm gonna actually put them into action, right? I want to make sure that we have uh, these units uh, showcased and you guys can see as a free-to-play player why these units are being leveled. So Baruto is huge. Uh, Conqueror was pretty big for this. Like as, as a nuke, I'm trying to get Naruto Rinne up. Obviously, you guys can see that. Um, and I have other units also going up as well too in power. So the thing is um, these units that I'm focusing on already are, are on the tier list, so you guys can always go refer back to that, and we'll be doing a brand new tier list very shortly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, the main thing here, guys, is let's get those units up as soon as you can, and they're going to help you thrive in PvE. That's where most of the, the, the rewards are that you want anyways, right? So PvP is great again, but you, sh you should be focusing mainly on PvE, and that's the main, that's the main thing for me uh, as a player, because all the rewards, like the SR shards and the UR shards, are going to come from there. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and max out Baruto's. There we are, and then we'll do this as well too. And I want him maxed out because he is going to be an integral part of my PVE team. Uh, and I have these 
uh, awakening orbs that I've been getting from the um, from the the uh, the Sasuke event, the the free to play one mission mission event there. And I think it's actually almost done. Today might be the last day. Three days left. Okay, so I'm actually done. I can't get any more of his shards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Get some more of his weapons just to get them out of the way for LB2. And that will be it for that. So I no longer am getting assistance coins. So I did, I did pretty good. I got I think I got like 10 of 10 of those awakening orbs just from using stamina Shino coins. So all my Shino coins guys are going to go towards stamina. I'm actually saving all of my bento stuff specifically for any brand new FTP, F2P event that comes out for players. So for those wondering why I'm not like leveling up super fast, I'm taking my time because I want to make sure that I'm intelligent enough to hold on to my bentos and my, my Shino coins going forward unless someone new, some SR drops that's really good and worth it. Or I'm going to use them specifically for stamina refreshes. Those are the main things, all right? So like I said, I want to focus on getting Sai up first. We are almost, uh, we're not, we're up, well, I mean, we're a quarter in for, for five star and then we have six star to worry about, right? So there's going to be a little bit of time left before we can get that, but I'm actually going to focus that as my main priority. And then we're going to see how much better my characters do at that point. And I'm also focusing on people who have the 5k vitality, right? So this vitality here is not as good. Neither is this one, neither is that one, but this one here is key for Sai. So we're going to start focusing on units with that especially. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to focus on some rares as well too, just to see how good they can do in Arena and PvE. All right, guys, this is Payne. Uh, again, enjoy the rest of your day, and we will talk soon.